Hmm. Here we are. The Graco Latin Square Design. Graco Latin Square Design. Some to call it Greco. <laughs> Charlie, what do you like? Say it and go your way. <laughs> okay, Graco Latin Square Design. So, this is the idea. It's about combining Greek letters. How we know the Greek letters? The Greek letters are the alpha, beta, gamma, and what? Omega. Alright, so it's about combining Greek letters and Latin letters to form a square. And you know the Latin letters are A, B, C, and what? D. Alright, so when these two combine, then it forms what? A square. Alright? So now, in the same way, you can see that no two, like, you, you, are, not, you are not seeing, let's say A is here, then A is still. No, it's not like that. So yes, uh, the row and the column is what? No repeating. It's no repeating. Alright, so that's that. That's how we do them. Um, so, first of all, A, B, C, D. Alpha, beta, gamma, omega. Then this one will come here, this one will come here, this one will come here, then the last one will come here. In the same way as what we're doing in Latin script. Alright, so that's how we do that. We do that. Okay, so now, the Greek Latin square is just simply a design. So, simply, Greek Latin square design is formed by combining two orthogonal Latin what? Square. Or, some, in some books, they also say that when, when uh, Greek Latin, sorry, when Greek letters and uh, Latin letters super what? Imposed. When they superimpose, then Greek Latin what? Form. Or you can also say that it's formed by combining two orthogonal what? Latin what? Square. They are all correct. Alright. So now, it block three source of what? Variation. Yes. It's going to block three source of what? Variation. Don't forget that in the Latin square, it block two. Here it block three. And one is the row, the column, and within the Greek treatment within the Greek what treatment so this year this is what we are going to do what we are going to do is so beautiful you are going to be giving numbers here inside here like uh what we're doing in the Latin but in the Latin there is no Greek code letters right of it so what you do is that here you are going to deal with two treatments listen listen well here you are going to deal with two treatments all right. Now you know the, your rows, you know your column, and you will sum it like that. All right. So in the Latin, you bring out what A, B, C, and D in Latin. Here, since now the Greek letters and Latin is being superimposed, you are not going to bring only like, only the A, B, C. I mean the treatment. No. We are going to have another treatment which is alpha, beta, gamma, and uh, gamma and uh, omega. How you can see that? Alright. So we are going to have treatment one and treatment one. Two. And one is for the Latin and one is for the Greek. Always correct. Alright, so it's similar to what we have done in Latin Square, but here we are going to deal with two one. Two source of what? Three source of what? Variation. And one is the row, one is the column, and the third one is within the Greek word treatment. So this Greek treatment is part of the block, but this is not part of the block. See you in the a beautiful question. All right. All right. Welcome. To our first person, another Greco Latin space. Alright, so please uh, manage my handwriting for me, okay? So, we start from here. In order to produce a superior type of chicken food, four different quantities of each of two chemicals are added to the basic ingredients. I hope you are getting it. To the basic one, ingredients. The different quantities of the first chemical are indicated by 
the Latin letters. While those of the second Gameta are indicated by the Greek letters. And not only that, the question is saying that he is okay, he says four different quantities of each of two what chemicals are what? added. Right? So you have to know your blockings. You have to know your blockings. Alright. Because we have chemical one, chemical two, we have head of chemical one, we have head of chemical two. And you also have Greek Latin, uh, the Latin letters and the Greek Latin letters. So you know that the chemical one, chemical two, and the Greek Latin letters are the blockings because the blockings are three. Right. The feed is given to baby. The feed is given to baby chicks, arranged in a groups according to the four different initial weights. So weight one, weight two. Weight three and weight four. And four different species. S1, S1, S2, that The increase in weight per unit time are given in the Greek Latin square. Table below. Right? Alright. So that's what we have. The weight and the species. And the species like that. Alright, so we are going to use these two. Now, let me read uh, uh, what we are to find for you so that you write it. You have a lot of time. I may not get space to write it. Alright, so A. State the hypothesis to be tested. State the hypothesis to be tested. B. Conduct an ANOVA. Sorry. Conduct an analysis of variance of the experiment at 0 0.05 level of significance. Stating, stating any conclusion that could be drawn. C. Complete the ANOVA table for the test. D. State, state the statistical Assumption underlying this test. And what test is that? Grancolat. E. What is the probability of committing a type 1 error? F. What is the probability of committing type 2 what? error? So this is what we are going to go through. And I'll be back with. And you know what you do. I hope you know what you do. What are the first thing to do? What are the first thing to do? Huh? Add all the rows. Sum them up. Write it here. All the, the columns. Sum up here. And what again? You will begin. Here, yeah, I know that we are dealing with two treatments, right? The one for the Greek Latin. And the, sorry, the one for the Greek letters and the one for the Latin letters. So you draw your table. A, B, C, D. Then you go for the A's, add them, B's, add them, C, add them. Then you go for what? You have another table for the Greek letters, alpha, beta, gamma. Then those ones will go and add them. So that's all you're going to do. Alright, so for the question, we can let the first chemical be the word, the Latin word, letters. Then the second chemical be the word, the Greek word, letters. Beautiful. So now, for the initial way to, from the table given, we can say that our initial way to represent this, and uh, our species be what? This. Alright, so now, the A part says that we have to state the, uh, the hypothesis. Here we are going to state, since, listen, since we are considered, or we are blocking what? Uh, three what? Uh, three extremities. Since here we are blocking three, that means that, since here we are blocking three variations, that means that we are going to state that for the treatment and the three, making what? Four. So the first chemical will take one hypothesis, the second chemical will take another one hypothesis, then the weight also will take some, and the species will take some. So that's how it's going to be. And we know that they are all going to be four, 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 four. 
So that's how it's going to be. The first one, let's take it to be me. Let's take it to be alpha, beta, and the one, and the gamma. Alright, so I will back with the solving of the question. So that's going to be the hypothesis. Alright. Alright, so here we are. Please, uh, point of correction. I'm very sorry. The table I gave you from where the question is, ignore that one and consider this one, okay? There was a mistake on it. So I have uh, done everything again. Alright. So now, let's consider what you are going to have here. Please, I'm sorry, the table I gave it to you at where the question is. Where, is the, uh, where I gave you the question. Ignore that thing. There is a mistake on it. Right. So I have come up with a new one for you from the question. So consider this one rather than the first one. Alright. So the first thing to do is to do what? Is to sum all the rows, all the rows, all the rows, and all the words in the columns. So take your calculator. 8 plus 6. How are you going to see the numbers? 6 plus 5. Plus 6. That will give you what? 25. So here you get 25. So that's the total. So here is 25. Then you do this one. You are going to get 17. 17. This will give you 22. This will give you 22. Then this will give you 34. 34. So that is for the rows. Then we come back to the column. The total of the what? Of the column. That one here, you will get 23. 8 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, you get 23. Then here will be 25. 25. 25. Then here will be 27. 27. Then here will be 23. Let's try one and see. 6 plus 3 plus 6 plus 3. Six plus three plus six plus ten. Yeah, twenty-five. All right. So it's all right. Now, after getting to another, we have our rows and we have our, our columns. So we come back to the treatment. So I told you we are going to get two treatments at Greekolati. So the first treatment for the first chemical and the second treatment for the, what, the second what chemical. So the first chemical will represent the Latin letters. Then the second chemical represents the one the Greek letters. So this is what we are going to do. I find we did in Latin. So when you come to the B, how many? Uh, when you come to the A, how many A do you have? Definitely it should be four. One, two, three, four. So here you take your calculator. This is how we are going to do it. I'm doing one for you. And I will copy the rest. So five plus four. Then you come back to this. Plus six. Plus 8. 23. Beautiful. 23. 23. So here is 23. Do the same thing for your B. What? B is here. B is here. B is here. And B is here. Add the numbers. And here, you are going to get 20 here. And you are going to get 31 here. And you are going to get 24 here. Alright. So, in all, you total it. You total what you are going to get for that, and that is going to be alright, and that is going to be 98. 98. 98. Yeah, please, this one to the grand total yet. You have to total the grand total there, and that grand total there will also be the grand total there will be 98. Yeah, the grand total here will be 98. You will see something beautiful, alright? Let's go for the alpha. So check, alpha is here. Oh, sorry, this is gamma. Alpha, beta, gamma. This is gamma. No, the alpha. So check in here. This is alpha. This is alpha. This is alpha. And this is another alpha. So when you add them, you are going to get 20. 20, 26. 27, 25, and the total will give you 98. 
In fact, if the granddaughter here, the granddaughter here, the granddaughter here, I know they say you are wrong. All right. So now that so the granddaughters are the same. So we can now continue and start solving our what question. So first of all, there are some things that you have to break it out so that when you are solving a question, you will not be finding it difficult. All right. So I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Wait. Don't forget that. We have to go for sum of square of. So now we are going for sum of square of the row. We have four and here. So the row and the column. You know that we have to go for this. We know they are all the same, right? They are all the same. So you can use R, 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 R for it. Alright? They are all the same. So you can use R, R, like what we did in Latin. T, 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 T. Now, this means that pick each value and square it. 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 That's what we are going to do. And also, the first parameter, you pick each value and square it. Eh? Pick each value and square it. Here to pick each value and square it. And the rows to pick each value and square it. And the column to the same thing. So that's what we are going to do. Alright, so we are coming to find the sum of squares, right? Okay. So in finding the sum of squares, we know that we have three, we have two treatments. And we have, all right, we know that in Greek, uh, in Greek Latin square, we block three sources of what? Variation. We block three sources of what? Variation. All right. Welcome back to Master's Paper News Tutorial. So, we are still jumping through the question. Okay, so now we are now coming to find the sum of squares, right? And don't forget that the sum of square total is the one that deals with you squaring each member. Squaring each member. I have already, already told you that. I have already told you that. Alright, so with this, this is the formula. Uh, this one is always constant, it's always the same thing, right? So sum of square total is when you square each member in the table and then you square it, so that's what you're going to have. So all you need is give this. Then when you combine them, you get this for the sum of square total. Then you come to the sum of square of the row. You see that the row is a summation on this side, right? So you pick each number, I mean on the table, on the table. The totals here. Pick it and square it. Right? So this is the formula. So we, we have we, uh, the R square I here means that the row squares. So you come up, you come to pick each total and square it. And when you total, you get that for that. Alright? So you divide by what? Four. You divide by four. Then this side will be. You see here, the R here means that. You see that the row is 4, the column is 4. So even if you use R key, the thing is still 4. So you can use only R, like what we did in Latin, only T. So you go your way. So this one will be what? R squared. <laughs> so even in the Latin, you can maintain T throughout, even at where we are considering the R key. Alright, so R squared, knowing that R times R is the same as R key. Alright, so that's what we are going to have. Just point the whole thing on the calculator, bam, and put it there. Alright, so this is a sum of square of the row. And we know the row is the what? Is a species. Don't forget that. The row is a species. Then we come to the sum of square of the column. That is the initial weight, right? That is the initial weight. Because we have the species here, we have the weight here. That is the initial weight. Mm. Alright, so the formula is that. That is the formula. This means that the column, your results here, your results here, you square each, you square each, and that's what is going to give you the ones here. And that is that. Good. 
Later on, then you come to you consider you, you know that in Greek uh, Latin square, you consider how many treatment, two treatment, right? So in the first thing, the first is the first chemical, and the second treatment is the second what chemical. So you pick each total, uh -huh, then you square it, you square it, you square it like that. That's what you're going to get. The same thing here, you so one is for the Latin square and the other one is for what? The Greek letters. Sorry, the, la <laughs> the Latin letters and the other one is for the Greek letters. So you just square it, square it, square it, and divide by what you have there. This side is always constant. In fact, don't let uh, memorization of this from less BT. It's just more technique that you need. Alright. Okay. So after getting this, then we can now go and find our what? sum of square of the what? of the arrow. Don't forget. So that we can go for the mean square of the what? of the arrow. You will have it. See you. Alright, so now the sum of square of the error will be always the total first, then the rest will come. You will never get a negative value to be your final results. You will never get it. If only you start with the total. Alright, so now uh, we have this to be that, 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 that. Alright, so don't forget, this is a final result. Not this. So this minus this, this minus this, this minus this, that minus that. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, so that, that that gives the sum of square of the what? Of the error. Then you come to sum, sum of square of the row, which is the same as the, of the space. So that's what that one is going to give you. You know, if the view of freedom is still 4 minus 1 for all of it, whether row or column, 4 minus 1. That's why we maintain R throughout. Mean square of the column to initial width, that's the initial width. So the sum of square of the column minus R uh, over R minus 1, then you go your way. Now, you know, here yeah, you have to get understanding work. You see, uh, this course is not about, it's about you memorizing the formula, but it's about you understanding the formula. You see, in the Greek or Latin square, you always, you'll be dealing with two, two what? Treatment, right? But that two treatment will be coming from the question. The one representing the what? The Greek letter and the one representing the, la uh, the Latin letter. Those be the what? The two what? Treatments. So our first chemical represents something. And our second chemical represents what? Another thing. It can be that you have a person which is not first, chem first chemical and what? The second chemical again. So in some books, they use T1, T2. But I maintain here to be step first chemical, second chemical for you to understand what we mean. So right here the formula, you see that I'm making here T1 and making here T2. Because I can't come and repeat the whole first chemical here like that. But you have to understand what you are doing. I always like, I trust you. So that one too, that like that, over here the freedom. Now, let's see the mixture of the L. You see the mixture of the L also divide by each degree of what? Freedom. And don't forget, in Latin square, the degree of freedom for mean square error is R minus 1, R minus 2. But when you come to the Greco Latin square, the degree of freedom is R minus 1, R minus 3. Don't forget this. Alright. I'm telling you, don't go as far as simplify. It will be something bunch for you. So that's how you go out of this. And you are right there. Good, so now we are going for the F calculated. So, how many F calculated do you think we are going to get? Four, right? Good, we are good. That is the F calculated for the speedies, F calculated for the initial weight, F calculated for the first chemical, and F calculated for the second weight chemical. I'll be back. Alright, so that is the F calculated. That is the F calculated. So, the F calculated for the speed is the mean square of the row. That represents the speed over the mean square of the row. That is the F calculated for the initial weight. That is the column. So, mean square of the column over the mean square of the row. In fact, always is the mean square of the row that will come in the denominator. Alright, so I hope you know what is here. I didn't like it. But you know it's the what? The mean square of the what? Uh -huh. Of the first chemical. Which is the T1 and the mean square of the second chemical, which is the what? The T2. So don't forget it. Alright, so that is that. Then you go back to your because now in Latin 2, 
After the one was given to you, but here only one will be given to you. Alright? So that's how you do it. Don't forget. Okay? So you'll be back with the conclusion. So what are the conclusion are you going to have? Mm -hmm. In the last, I always want to link to the last, okay, so that I don't be confused. In the last, how many conclusions will you get? Six conclusions because of two upper level giving you. But not always that, it depends on the person, okay. Some, some, in some person, you'll be giving only one upper level, but it depends. Alright, so here yeah, we are going to get uh, four because we are comparing this to the species. The initial weight, the first chemical, and the second one chemical. So you let let do something before I clean it. So you can see that if you compare this to this, F calculated for the species, F calculated is greater than Y. In fact, write your conclusion on your own. Okay. So since F calculated is greater than Y, F upper level, then what will you say? You reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is what? Difference in the what? In the mean. Or there is difference between now. Yeah, don't use the mean. There is the difference between the what? The species. That's all. That's all. Very simple. Yeah. Yeah. Since they have calculated. So since they have calculated. Since the F calculated is greater than the upper level, then we say that we will change what the non hypothesis and conclude that they are different between the what they means. Here too, you can see that the F calculated, so here the F calculated here is 2.2 at the initial weight, 2.2. And here, so that means that. The F calculated at the initial weight is less than what? The F calculated in the what? F theta. So since it is less than, you are still to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is no difference in the what? In the initial weight. Simple as that. Don't go yourself by any bunch of steps. You are done. You are less than me. Then I will fail to reject and conclude that there is no difference in the initial species. Sorry, initial weight. <laughs> I love you. Let's continue. Oh, this one too is less than this. So you fail to reject and conclude that there is no difference in the first one. Come here, that's all. Oh, Charlie, let's move on. Oh, you are greater than me. So if you are greater than me, then I will reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is difference in the second word. Come Simple as ABC. And you are done. All right, see you for another table. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be our another table for the Gregor Latin Square design question. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow. Or oh, I should explain. Charlie, ah. consider possible. I'm tired. <laughs> All right, so you can see this one is from R minus one, R minus one, R minus one. R minus one, please. The reason the fact that here is three doesn't mean here is R minus one. Here is R minus one, R minus three. I hope you can see that. All right, and that's what you're going to get. So, some of you are the first, and you know the first chemical is the, hmm, the first treatment, and the second, second chemical is the what? The second what? Treatment. So always the Latin letter. And the Greek letter that will represent the first treatment and the second treatment. So by the point of the question here, you are dealing with chemical. It can be that you will not be dealing with chemical. Alright! So see you in another video. Please subscribe to Mass Expert channel for we have a lot for you. Trust me. <laughs>